Making cool effects in DaVinci Resolve does not have to be complicated or even time consuming at all. DaVinci Resolve comes with a ton of cool free effects and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a few of my favorite. So let's go. Alright so first is this glowing neon text effect. So first thing that you want to do when you open up a new project is you want to go and you want to grab a text plus and you want to drag it onto the timeline. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the text to whatever you want to do. I'm going to do neon in this case. And for this effect, I really like the font called Reef. And then for this particular font, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to shading and it's going to be on white solid fill. And then I'm going to want to go to this outline here. And the next thing I'm going to want to zoom it in just to make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it better. If you hold option on the keyboard and you go up, you can drag it into, you can copy it into the second video track. So what we want to do for this first one is we want to go back and we want to go to white solid fill and then in the color down here what we're going to do is we're going to make it gray okay and that's because when it flickers we want it to to look like it's gray underneath all right so now what we want to do is go over to the fusion tab and don't be scared this isn't anything crazy that we're going to be doing in here all right so then what you're going to want to do is make sure you click on template and then if you're on a mac you're going to want to hit shift spacebar and you're going to add a glow node right here we're going to add that in and then we're going to go over here to glow size and we're going to change it to whatever we like. And then we're going to adjust the, the glow effect right here. Then we're going to make sure that the glow node is selected and then we're going to hit shift space bar one more time. Now we're going to go add a color corrector. And then we're going to change it to whatever color that we want. Just like that and when you go back to the edit page you can see we have the neon glowing effect but maybe we want to make it flicker so what we're going to do is i'm going to go a few frames in on this top layer here i'm going to cut it and then i'm going to split it so this is a two frame gap right here i'm going to skip five frames and i'm going to cut it up again i'm going to skip three frames and then this time I'll only do a one frame. Okay, and you can see that it's giving you the flickering effect. And then to just take this to the next level, uh, you can add in a little neon sound effect that I have right here. And there you go, that's how you do the neon text effect. All right, so this next effect is gonna be adding in camera shake. Now there may be times where you've shot video on a tripod and maybe you wanna add in a little bit more drama to the shot, a little bit more movement. Adding in camera shake can be a really good way to do it without having to go out and redo a shot. And luckily for us, it's built right into DaVinci Resolve already. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to open effects then you wanna to go to camera shake. And you wanna add that on. And you can see this is a bit too much, but if that's the effect that you wanna go for, then by all means, it kinda looks like there's an earthquake right now. But anyway, so you click on the clip, you go to effects, and then you wanna mess with the motion scale and the speed scale. And sometimes if it's more dramatic like that, we can add it some motion blur and it's gonna look a little bit more realistic. And you can see we've calmed it down a lot more. And this is actually a lot more believable. This, this looks way better. So it really is that easy. Another thing that you can mess with is the PTR speed. The more left you go, the slower it's gonna be. So it's gonna be a lot smoother. And I think this looks really nice if you just needed a quick handheld shot. It's, it's very gentle. You can also add in zoom over here, which is gonna make it a lot more dramatic and it'd probably be better if we turn up the PTR and the motion scale and everything. And you can see now it's just like this, this crazy shot. So it can be very ridiculous or you can just add in a very subtle amount of, of camera shake. Also, if you're having any problems where the edges are black up here and you can see them kind of moving around, what you can do is go down to blanking handling. And you can hit replicate. On default, it's going to be on black but you can go down to replicate and then it's gonna fill that in for you so it's not just a you know a black border but this is one of my favorite effects to add on because there's so much versatility and you can do so much with this i'd really recommend that you go in and you mess around with all these different sliders and everything and that way you'll get the desired effect that you're going for all right so this next effect is going to be a glitch effect and you can use this one um, for a transition or you can even use this one um, on top of a clip so it's very versatile and so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to your toolbox here. You're going to want to get an adjustment clip. And in this example, I'm just going to use this as a transition here. So I'm going to trim this down and then I'm going to want to go down to effects, type in glitch. 
and then drag a digital glitch onto your adjustment clip. And you can see this isn't very interesting just on its own like this. So what we can do is we can go over and we're gonna go to open effects and then we're gonna hit prism blur and drag that on there. And what that's gonna do is just add some blur to it, make it look a little bit more glitchy. Then what we can do is we can go to resolve FX and then we can go grab the camera shake which you might be familiar with since we just used it. And then what we can do is we can go over here. We can go over to the effects. We can add in some motion blur. We can up the speed scale. We can up the PTR speed. And then one last thing we can do to, you know, kind of spice it up a little bit is we can add in a little sound effect, a little glitch sound effect. And you can see that just sells the transition a little bit better. And so now that we've made our transition and we've worked really hard on getting this to where we want, um, you can actually save this so that you can reuse it over and over again and not just only this project but in all your projects so what you want to do is you want to go over here to where it says power bins and i'm just going to put this in the master for this example you're going to want to click and then drag that into the master bin there and now here's our adjustment layer you can see we can just drag and drop it anywhere we want and this is going to work across projects too. This power bin is going to be accessible in any project that we work on. So if we want to add in a quick transition on one of our other projects, there you go. We can add that in. It's as easy as dragging and dropping it. And you can work on it once and make one that you really like. And then you can just go ahead and have it for forever, basically. So, so that is the glitch effect.